Hi everyone, my name is Purnima. I've been living in Germany for the past two and a half years. And in this video, as you saw in the caption, we'll do a tour of a very big German university called the Zalit University situated here in Saarbrücken. I just completed my degree. And before I start my new job, I just want to give you a nice overview of how the campus looks like, some of the big research institutions like Max Planck Institute, DFKI and so on. Without further ado, let's go. This is a campus map of our university. Uh, you can see how the buildings look like and where they're located. One really nice thing is that such maps are distributed across the campus. So whenever you're confused or when you want to check for reference, you can just check out these maps. The first building that I want to show you is a part of the Zalan Informatics Campus. It is the Department of Computer Science. It is also connected to the building number E13, uh, which has some of the biggest lecture halls. And if you are planning to join our university as a bachelor or master student in computer science or related departments, this is where you'll be spending 90% of your time. So the building that you see right behind me is one of the biggest lecture halls here at UDS. It's called the Günther Holz Lecture Hall. As you can see, it's very big and it can accommodate almost 150 students at the same time and some of the biggest lectures take place in this building. The second department that is a part of the Zal Informatics campus is the Center for Bioinformatics. It's the building that you see behind this. The Center for Bioinformatics at Zaland University is one of the largest and most successful bioinformatics institutes in Germany. Many of my friends doing their master thesis here in this building uh, and many of them also pursue a PhD right after their masters. So this is a very good opportunity for you if you are planning to do bioinformatics in Germany. Moving on from the Center for Bioinformatics, we are now going to one of my most favorite places at the university, the Informatics Library. There are multiple libraries at Zaland University. And as a student who did computer science at uh, Zaland University, this was the most important one. Uh, here you can find a lot of books that are specific to informatics, computer science, uh, language, German language, and many others. Uh, there are also a lot of spaces inside the library where you can have a peaceful environment, study, prepare for your assignments. And that is what I did for a big part of my master's as well. The building that you see left of me is the Department of Mathematics. Similar to the Computer Science Department, there are uh, many professors uh, and uh, research groups uh, focusing on algebra, geometry, applied analysis, mathematical data analysis, um, numerical mathematics, and stochastics. When you're doing your bachelor's or master's, some of the courses relevant to the mathematics department are mandatory. So we might have lectures in this department and might be of interest if you're planning to join UDS. One thing that I really like about our university campus is that there are many of these vending machines uh, where you can get a pad or a tampon for free. This comes in really handy in cases of emergency. If you're a student and if you're a woman and if you're in trouble, then just find one of these machines and you have a tampon. Kudos to UDS for this. The building that you see behind me is one of the biggest lecture halls um, of the mathematics building. And there are many courses that take place here. Uh, sometimes when you have to take exams where there are a lot of students enrolled, uh, you might find yourself in one of these halls to take examinations as well. Summer in Germany is so beautiful. And as you can see, our university has a lot of greenery. And sometimes when you're so stressed from exam preparation, assignments and all, you can just come and sit here in one of these hammocks in the shade and just chill and relax. If we take these long flight of stairs, we reach one of the most important places at our uni campus. Yes, it's the Mensa. Uh, Mensa is German for university canteen. Our university is one of the best Mensa in my opinion because uh, every day of the week you get fresh hot meals that do not just one option, you will have multiple uh, options, at least three or four. And one thing that I really like about our Mensa is that there will always be at least one vegan and one vegetarian meal. This makes it really convenient for people who have many dietary restrictions, like myself, who is a vegetarian. If you are a student and you would like to live in one of the student dorms, then this place is really important. This is the office of the student in Diak Zalan, which means that they handle things related to student housing, 
uh, Menza and so on. I live in one of the student housing called Gukelsberg provided by Zaland University. So comment down below if you would like to see a long video of where I live, how it is like living in a student Monheim from Zaland University. This is the backside of the Menza. And as you can see in summer, it's really sunny and the weather is so beautiful. So you can sit outside and enjoy a meal. The reason why it looks so empty at the moment is because we are shooting on a Sunday and there's nobody at the university on a Sunday. It's Germany. So I'm sure that this bright red building behind me must have caught your attention. Uh, these are the Shear Towers. Uh, they're buildings where there are many startups and companies. Uh, in these companies, they do um, IT infrastructure or uh, bioinformatics related things so if you want to study here and also work part-time as a working student then Shear Building is a really nice place and you can look up to companies that are accommodated here. Right opposite to Menza is the building called DFKI. It stands for Deutsche Forschung für Künstliche Intelligence in German which basically means German Research Center for Artificial Intelligence. If you are a student who wishes to study computer science, data science or AI, then this place is really important because there are many professors who have expertise in data science and AI who do research here. They provide lectures at the university. You can work here as a student. Uh, you can also pursue your PhD, postdoc and so on. And this is the right place for you. If you enjoyed the video so far, then you know the drill. Like, share and subscribe. I'm standing in the road and I shouldn't get killed. Our university has four student housings from the university itself. And one of those Wohnheims is Studentische Wohnheim A, which is located inside the campus itself. And it is this white building that's behind me. Uh, if you want to live here, then you can uh, talk to the lady in charge at the building that I showed you before next to Menza. And maybe you can start living here in the campus. The university, besides from providing housing, uh, also has uh, members with a president, uh, a treasurer and so on. And they organize frequent parties and uh, events so that students can get to know each other. And such parties always take place in such student and Wohnheims. For instance, in this building, there's a party that happens every Thursday. So if you want to have some fun, then this is the right place for you. The next buildings that I want to show you are extra special for me. It's the Max Planck Institute for Informatics and the Max Planck Institute for Software Systems. Let's first check out the Max Planck Institute for Informatics, which is also the place that I did my master thesis and also worked as a student researcher for two years. For me, before anything comes coffee. And where do you get coffee? at iCoffee. Here you can get fresh coffee, iced coffee, a lot of really tasty drinks and also food like sandwiches, biscuits and so on. I have really fond memories of coming and getting a coffee here when I'm exhausted, sitting in those shades and just chilling. So if you're planning to come here, then iCoffee is a really important place to keep in mind. We are standing in front of the building E13, uh, which is the informatics building. As you can see, this is where the professors for all of these departments uh, have offices here. Uh, apart from that, the examination office is also present here in E13. Uh, E13 also has uh, many really big lecture halls. Uh, so if you are a student for informatics or any related topics, then most likely you will be spending a lot of time here. Right next to E13 is E14, which is the Max Planck Institute for Informatics. One thing that I really like about our university that makes it extra special for computer science is that our university is the only university in Germany to have not one, but two Max Planck Institutes. In this institute, we have many departments like algorithms, uh, internet, um, internet architecture, computer vision, and so on. One thing to keep in mind is that if you're a person uh, who doesn't speak German well enough, then the university and the Max Planck Institute both organizations offer free German courses. So if you're coming here as a student or as a professor, please feel free to take these classes. Now that we have seen E14, let's go to E15, which is the Max Planck Institute for Software Systems. There are many different research groups focusing on topics related to instrumentation and data analysis. If you're looking for uh, opportunities as a research assistant or a part-time student, then this is the right place for you. What you see here is the university bus terminal. Um, all the buses that pass to the university come here. Um, you can just check in one of these maps as you see here. So you can see uh, which buses come at which stops and their timestamps. 
and take the corresponding bus. The building that we are standing next to is Fraunhofer. Fraunhofer is a chain of multiple research institutes across Germany. There are many Fraunhofer institutes spread across different parts of Germany and we have a Fraunhofer inside the Saarland campus as well. And the Fraunhofer that we have here is Fraunhofer IZFP or that stands for Fraunhofer Institute for Non-Destructive Testing. This is also a place where you can uh, find many part-time research assistant jobs. Um, you can also work as a professor or a PhD student here inside this building. So do check it out. You might be wondering why there is a South Korea flag when we are in a German campus. That's because we are in front of the Korea Institute for Science and Technology inside the Zalin Informatics campus. This is also a place where you can find many opportunities as a research assistant, a PhD position and also uh, being a professor. I personally don't know anyone who is working here, but I have heard that there are a lot of Koreans themselves who work here. So if you are a Korean, then the probability of you working in KIST is much higher than an average person. Hello. 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 The next building that I want to talk about is CISPA Helmholtz Center for Information Security. CISPA is one of the most leading research centers for cybersecurity and data protection. And this building is right inside the university campus. I believe that they also have one another campus that is located in a nearby place called Zhang Tingbert. But one of their main offices is here right next to the buildings that we just saw now. If you're a person who is interested in pharmaceutical and uh, related sciences, and if you want to find out new drugs related to antibiotics or something like that, then there's a lot of related research that happens inside this building. So look out for new openings if you want to work here. Something that I found really interesting when I first came here is that uh, Germany uh, gives a lot of emphasis on sports and such training centers are found in different parts of the university spread across the whole campus which means that if you're tired from your studies or assignments or if you want to have a quick training session you don't really have to have a gym membership or something you can come here quickly train yourself and that's something that I really appreciate. Something that's interesting is that our university has an Olympics training center where Neera Chopra and PV Sintho used to train in. Drop a comment below and follow along if you want to see more of my German diaries. That's it for this video. I showed you almost all the buildings that are relevant to the computer science department, but this only makes up for almost one fifth of the whole university campus. So if you want to see more, then feel free to drop, drop a comment and I can make more videos related to the other parts of the campus. Until then, see you later. Alligator. Bye. Bad joke alert. You see this building right behind me? This building uh, doesn't lie. You know why? Because Shakira once said, My hips don't lie.